This video is a parametric diagram build out tutorial. So with that we'll walk forward. So this is what we will be building out from scratch. The end product you can run example context one, put in your time as six seconds, and it will output that after, let's say you um, time how long from when you see the lightning to when you hear the thunder, it's six seconds, and then you can know that it is 1.25 miles away from you. So this is one way to uh, create that. And then we have a secondary way to create that as well. And we can run that and just show that it works also. And we see five seconds distance of 1.04 miles. So we'll just build that out from scratch. And to do that, we will just delete everything that we have. So I will create an element and just call it constraints. So this is a, that was a package. And then I'm going to create a diagram, a BDD diagram, and leave it as lightning strike distance. And then I'll start creating my context blocks. Example, context one. And then make the second one over here. Example, context two. And now we'll add our constraints. So that's one of our constraints. The second one is going to be distance conversion feet to mile. Make that a little bigger. Third one. All right, and then our last one for example two is going to be all three of them together. All right, so I will now put those constraints within my constraint package. And you can see that uh, none of them have any equations associated with them. And so we'll just go ahead and add that bar horizontal separator right here. I think for the last video, I, I changed this to a solid line. So now we'll go ahead and add the constraints. So I hit enter, go to the specification winner window, and here's your constraints. So I'll add distance in feet is our equation, 100 times 9 in seconds. I'll close that, you can see it right there. And then I'll push the special button to parse out the uh, parameters there. And you can see it pop up in the container tree. So I'll do the same with the next ones. And again, you click this parse and create parameters, and it will do that for you. So now what we need to do is add our constraints to our context. So now I just drag and I put it over the whole example context one block. And uh, I'll, I'll rename these equation one, equation two, equation three. And now we can go in here. I'm just adding the other equations. And I'll drag this equation or constraint block onto the example context two. I'll rename it equation one through three. And now I will create my parametric diagram. So right click, go to create diagram, and then parametric diagram. And I'll go ahead and make all these bigger and then select all. And so now I've got my constraints in there, but I need my value properties. So I'll go back. So we need to add value properties. So that's what I'm doing here. So now my value properties have been added. I can double click and go back to it. I can right click, click display value properties and they populate. Um, so now we can start connecting the dots. So 
using a binding connector, I connect the value properties to the yellow squares. And this is kilometers. And I'm just going to rearrange this because I do need to, because these constraints cascade. I'm going to, this output is going to be the input there. So that's why I'm creating these links. Good enough. Resize, and I'll, that's what it looks like. So I'll go back. And what I can do is I do an Alt B to find it in the containment tree, then I can drag it and push this eyeball button and it will show it to me within my BDD. That looks good. And uh, we'll just run this now to see if it works. So I'll put five in for time and you can see that it populates 1.04 miles away and uh, it will also populate within here. Looks like I spelled distance wrong. So that worked as anticipated. So now we're going to do the example with three constraints within one constraint block. So again, I need to add these value properties to this. Let's see if I can copy paste them. I did, I was able to just control C, control V. Right click, create diagram, parametric diagram, and click OK. It looks like I haven't parsing created these parameters yet, so I'll click that. And then I'll go back to my parametric diagram, and you'll be able to see the yellow boxes now. So now we'll start connecting everything together. I'll put my input here up on top, just for clarity. Distance kilometers, mile, feet. And I connect them all. This is my mapping. Do some resizing. All right. So now we're ready to run example context two. Before I do that, I'll Alt B, find it in the tree, drag it on the screen, hit the eyeball, and now we've got uh, them side by side. So I'll run example context two just to make sure it works. Put in uh, four seconds. And you see that it's 0.83 miles away, so it looks like it's working. And you can just resize these so you can see everything. So I hope that example helped. Thank you.